Gotti, 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 hard body, got these world, we some mob bosses. Tune in, don't just come across. We do it all, y'all just for the talk. Might lose your mind when you hear these topics, no cap, think about it. Who you know going this hard, all real, all way, think about it. Best interview, so is this? We don't do all this, that entrepreneurship. Come and link you on a viewership. Education, relationships, businesses, beauty clips. This the Midwest takeover, going over time to invent on focus. Bring a guest in from all over, whole lot of game, we don't need a closer. Got it, got it, got it, got it, hard body, got these world, we some mob bosses. Turn them else to lessons, we don't do the losses. Dedication daily, ain't no other options. Booking up these lots on every show we plotting. Pull up a chair, make sure you watching. Subscribe, get them notifications popping. Pull up all the champagne, we gon' get it poppin'. Yep. What's going on, y'all? This is your boy Gotti on the Gotti's World Show. Today's episode is very fucking special. When I say this woman, I know her as uh, my childhood friend. When um, I'm going to tell you a little story before we go ahead and get to this. Because it's very personal to me, so I got to do this shit right. And so, because I only get this one time, because I don't know when I'm gonna have another style like this in the building. Um, ah, this woman here is very fucking special to me. Um, we lost contact, but when she walked in, or when I actually saw her and got the hug, it felt like I. Um, Something was missing, but it was complete again. I don't know what it was, um, but when I just saw her again, it was just like, a boom, like, all right, cool. Uh, we got a lot of tides, when I say, uh, from a beautiful mother, man, that took me in like a, uh, like a son. Um, them old talks when we was a kid sitting on the porch, um, walking to school and from school together uh it was man man uh shit <laughs> uh I, you know i don't get choked up on my intros but uh this one here is like i said it's very special man and i want to know what she's been up to i want to know what she's been at uh i have seen some of the work she has been doing she's been putting it in for a long fucking time and uh i just got to catch up and so this is a catch-up session, but also this is a, a big promo run for her with her new single, uh, Stars, man. And I want y'all to just give a round of applause for my girl, Nina Ross. What up? Hey, what's up? What's up? What's up, everybody? How you feel? I feel fantastic, G. I miss you. <laughs> I miss you, too. Just seeing you I put eyes you on you. <laughs> and um just seeing the um the growth just seeing the actual woman aspect of you mm -hmm. it's just like mind-blowing lots of growth lots <laughs> of it and uh we're gonna figure out where all that growth came from aye, aye, aye. because like i said in my eyes i see you i see you different but uh i know the world sees you as man this amazing beautiful star that you are so we just got to catch up. Mm -hmm. But uh, I don't know if you've seen the show, but we uh, start from the past, present, and the future. Mm -hmm. And uh, we get into you to see how uh, you came about in your journey. Mm -hmm. So how we start the show off is um, how does Nina center herself in the morning before she jumps out into this crazy world? Okay, first let me say this, is, this question is very important to me. Mm-hmm. We allowed to cuss. I've been saying, I've, I've, been, I've been cussing since I started the show. I didn't know that. So, <laughs> I know most people don't give a fuck about that type of shit. Big okay? facts. Big facts. But big facts. The 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 truth is that the what you do in the very beginning of the day is going to set the tone for the rest of the day, right? You got it. So, and that's very big for me. So first I pray. Mm -hmm. First I pray. Mm-hmm. For a lot of reasons, and my prayers aren't um, asking for things. I'm just thankful. Of course, thank you, you know, for waking me up this morning. Thank you for yesterday, you know, for things that I was able to accomplish the day before today. Yeah. Thank you for tomorrow. You know, um, those are like my prayers in the morning, you know, and then I normally have a to-do list for, for every day. So I'm looking at my calendar. I'm looking at what what's on the list for the day, what's on the agenda. Mm -hmm. um, I'm attacking that 
as best I can. Sometimes you can't get to it all, but I wake up at about four or five every day because there's just not enough time in the day to wake up at like nine and then be done by like four or five. The business day is over with, you can't do anything. Yes. So you have to wake up and I have a four year old son, or gee, I have a son, wow. uh -huh. we'll get to that. But <laughs> mm, I have to get up at four so because he's still asleep, you know? So he's not like, my son calls me honey so he's like honey honey asking for things yes i can it's quiet in the morning you know i can drink my tea drink my coffee you know it's just it's peaceful i can my, i can organize my thoughts mm -hmm. and um that's normally what i do the first things i do are, are pray and then i i look at my to-do list for the for the day so that i can Go. just jump on that yeah Go. yeah how old is he he's i mean four. what four but what is his name makai wow <laughs> Wow. Yeah. All this shit is a shock. So it ain't <laughs> this ain't playing. I didn't know none of this shit. So uh yeah. But um mm -hmm. like I said, we go from the uh past. So through your eyes as a child, growing up in your household, what did that look like? Growing up in my household, um I was raised by a single mom. Mm -hmm. Um my mom was very sweet, very passive and um, down to earth and just relatable. You know, you could talk to her about anything. She was non-judgmental, you know. Um, so I had support, you know, in anything I wanted to do, definitely from her. She was always cheering me on. So I definitely had support from my mom. Um, you know, my in, when I was a kid, I always got really good grades. I always had really good grades. I smarty was always arty. in it. You were smarty arty. Go I ahead. was a smarty arty. I was always um, in some type of um, something. I, I, um, I wasn't really confident in my singing, like in my voice then. So mm -hmm. I wasn't really singing a lot. And people still to this day are surprised when they find out I can sing. You know, they like, what you doing here? What do you do? I'm like, I sing. <laughs> I think, yeah, we saw somebody last night. At, uh, I did a, a show last night, and um, somebody was like, yeah, I remember you from Dirksen. What do you do? I'm like, I'm going to sing. So wow. most people don't even know that. Yes, I sing. But I wasn't really doing it when I was a kid. So um, I was just doing other things that kind of kept, kept me in the not in the spotlight. Yeah. I didn't like being the center of attention. I didn't like that. I still really don't. That's uh, hard. That, that, that's, that's, that's very hard to... Uh... Yeah. How? Because, yeah, I, 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 like I said, from what I remember, and how we used to kick it, it it's just you would like play the background. Yeah. You was cool. Everybody yeah, was smooth. But chill, you now know? you on stage. You in front of all these people. You gotta be in the studio yeah. and everybody critiquing your shit. Yes. And things like that. Like, how is that transition? I know. Like, crazy. And I, to be honest, I had to because I, I, I guess up until recently. I kind of, oh Lord, I'm divorced as well. <laughs> so, <laughs> to the guys in the back, that might be an applause, okay? <laughs> to the guys, uh, to my followers and things like that, they might applaud this. So don't think that your DMs won't be judged. Oh my goodness. Well, go ahead, finish. Go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. That is just a really, really, it's pertinent to the conversation because. When once I started going through the divorce and like I don't know I, I have to say it just was like an eye opener. Mm -hmm. I just was like, girl, wake up, get up, do what you need to do. You are still alive. Mm -hmm. You are still healthy. You're still gorgeous. Do what you need to do. Do what you want to do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's what I did. I um just I started just realizing things about myself. Um, I started really pinpointing my blessings, like internal blessings that I was born with that, you know, you don't have to deal with other people or have relationships with anybody to, for, for certain blessings or talents to be there. Yes. They yes. were there. They yeah. were always there. I just had to recognize them. You had to tap into them. Yes. You had to tap and into so them. I, I just Same. was like, and for me, that was, it was my voice. I lost a lot of things during my marriage. I lost a lot of things, um, but I never lost my voice. Um, I lost my health, you know? I lost just a sense of who I was, like who who I am. And, and I had to go through that though. I had to feel that it had to be ugly. It had to be extremely painful and it was. And 
because of it, um, I just was like, you know, you still are very blessed. Mm -hmm. You know, this is not the end of you. This is this is this does not define who you are. And so I was like, you know, as much as I like not being in the spotlight, as much as I like just being comfortable and just chilling and laid back. I just know that's not what I was put here to do, to, to be laid back. I just, hey. and I, 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 it might sound cliche because I feel like a lot of people say that. Like, you know, I was born to like be in front of people and, you know, be on the stage, but. It's a feeling. It's a feeling that you get. It is. And it's a feeling that you always knew that was there, but also you kind of like, it's it, you tap into it because it's something that's always been a part of you. Mm -hmm. But, and it's like, damn, I ain't really. I ain't really know that was that was it all the, the whole fucking the whole time. time. Cause mine was my voice as well. Yeah. With this yeah. here, and like mm -hmm. you know how I, like I could talk to anybody, no matter who it is. Mm -hmm. I was cool with everybody, so it just made sense with my voice and be able to talk and articulate and you know what I'm saying just speak to other people and see about their journey mm -hmm. and that come from different walks of life. Yeah. So it's been hundreds of people that's been sitting here, and that's a and talent. That is a skill. Everybody cannot do that. And that's why everybody cannot do that. But to recognize that you have it though is a blessing because this is everything. <laughs> I'm doing a little something. This you know what I'm saying? Everything. Me and Evian and Will and you know all the team. We we doing just a little something here. We small time, but we big time at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> y'all doing y'all thing. I appreciate you. Um, yeah, didn't know about it <laughs> for a long time. Yeah, yeah. We'll talk about that Yes, later. we will. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I'm just, um, yeah, I, I was, I had a lot of support growing up, and I just, as as laid back and passive as I wanted to be about things, I just mm. realized you cannot do that. If you want to live, like, the maximum, like, to your absolute best, like, your absolute highest potential, you got to get out of that. You cannot, you have to you become uncomfortable. And you got to shoot. <laughs> and you got to shoot all the yeah. time. You, you got to shoot yeah. all the time. All yeah. the time. Now, far as with, um, far as with the talent, what we're here for, mm -hmm. um, your voice, when, because it's, it is a lot of singers, and actually I do know somebody, uh, shout out to my girl Ray, man. Uh, she's just getting into it and she said the same thing. She wasn't comfortable. Mm -hmm. So if, you can talk to a younger girl that's coming into this business and been where you've been and uh, having some of some new experience, as they would say, but you've been in it for a long time. What was some of them ups, downs, them, um, them experiences like? And what would you tell her in the aspect? So I would, I, let me say that the industry is different. Like when I first started, you know, years ago, 10 years ago or more, it was, you know, social media, what like, wasn't like the thing like mm -hmm. it is now, mm -hmm. you know, like everything is accessible now, yes. like quickly and yes. easily accessible. And it wasn't like that before. Facts. So, um, like one thing too, that I'll have to say about my own comfortability, I had to get kind of comfortable with, how can I say this? For lack of better words, showing a little bit more, okay? Don't take that the wrong way because, you know, that doesn't mean like go overboard or be someone you're not. You know, that that doesn't mean But there's a lot of girls out here that's just naked, period. Yeah. Like, they, they just wearing shit, just yeah. wear shit. Yes, Cause they that's seen, true. you know what I'm saying? Yes, and so, and so, so that's a good point. I'm glad you said that because mm -hmm. another thing for me, I wanted to be the opposite of that. Not, not only because I wanted to be you know, not like everybody else, or I kind of wanted to go against the grain. I just, I feel like we see that all the time and I just want to be something different than that. So, I mean, don't get me wrong. Like I understand like the eye candy thing. Like, mm -hmm. you know, you want to, you know, have something for the, for the people to look at. But my advice would be, don't change who you are. Don't change who you are. Be who you are. That is art. That that's that's art. Being yes. who you are. It's not conforming and being like everybody else. Be who you are. If you have your own set of I don't know rules or ethics or whatever they are, keep them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hold on to them. Do not let them go because that's what makes you unique. That's what makes you different from all the other people, the other artists that are out here. Continue doing what you're doing the way that you want to do it. Fact. That would be my advice. And don't stop. Do not stop. <laughs> Is it, let me ask you just from experience, uh, 
from your experience and from your uh, point of view because it almost yeah i can say almost no i can say it did in in certain aspects it did uh did you ever get caught up in these bright lights when it was you know what i'm saying when it was that or you were just getting into it and everybody was fucking with you everybody this and this and this but it was that did you or could you ever see yourself getting caught up in these bright lights because it can get funny i you know and i i get you know i have to say about like no my answer is no i don't see myself getting caught up in bright lights mm -hmm. but like when you've never been somewhere you mm -hmm. don't know you know what's going on mm -hmm. i gotta look to come <laughs> you keep getting it you keep getting it. it's good though you go you go so go. i know i know it's happening oh yeah this camera yeah. so i i can say i haven't up to this point I don't feel that I've gotten caught up, you know, in any bright lights or anything. And mm -hmm. I think that's because I always feel like there's work to be done. Mm -hmm. And I, to be honest, I have to continue to remind myself to celebrate. It's okay to pause mm -hmm. and celebrate, you know, like, cause, cause we get used to just grinding and working and working and working and we got to get there. I got to make it. I got to reach it that you forget you're, you know, you're accomplishing things along the way. Stop yeah. sometimes. Will, you, you praying? You praying? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> you wave your head? Stop sometimes and just <laughs> smell the roses, right? Yeah, yeah. Enjoy it. Celebrate. You know, don't forget about the people around you who are helping you get there, you know, and, and celebrate them. Stop and celebrate those people. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's, it's a balancing act. You got to do it all. You got to do it all, you know, but that um, that's, that's why I kind of don't really see myself get into that point because i'm constantly critiquing myself and it's always like yeah you did that but you ain't there yet like it's it's you know okay good but keep it moving like you not you ain't did shit you ain't did nothing yet so um i don't know though i mean and people could people say it all the time you know like you know when the money comes and when the fame comes people you know they're assholes and they forget about you know the the people that help them get there i don't see that I don't see myself doing that um, only because I've been through some fucked up shit. Let me, let me, um, <laughs> we're going to tap in, we're going to tap into real life. We're going to tap into real life too. We're going to definitely tap into that, but um, they have a stigma. They have a, a certain type of little stigma to where they say women, female artists mm -hmm. have, are very hard to work with or they might be diva ish or you know what i'm saying something like that so my thing to ask you is why do you do why do you think that that happens and is that a possible thing that you may have went through when you was coming in or uh, because you know personal just checking around saying like man i got my girl coming they Man, she little Hollywood. She ain't even get back with me about a feature. Yeah. What's been going on? Like, like what happened? Like, <clears throat> is it is it the diva ish that came out, or did you was you just going through life? Or talk to me about it. So wait, you're saying has that happened to me? Has has that? It, like I said, there is a stigma mm -hmm, of mm -hmm. the female. You know, what I'm saying. Okay. She hard to okay, work okay. with. She might be on some diva shit. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. I can't get her hell. I can't get this. But people take that as okay. the wrong way sometimes. Okay. So let me say this about that. Go ahead. And I've talked to a very trusted friend of mine. His name is D Lyle. Shout out to D Lyle. Shout out, shout out, shout out. <laughs> um, he and I have talked about this before, and I kind of came to him just kind of confiding in him about it because. I knew once I once I started releasing music, I was gonna start getting a lot of, you know, people asking for collabs and you know all type of stuff. And the, the truth about that is, I mean, you cannot collab with everybody. Everybody's everybody's stuff That's is not in line with what you're doing. Please say it. everybody shit ain't good. You say everybody just everybody shit just ain't it ain't it. Cause a lot of people just jumping into this shit. Oh, no, shit. I, hey, okay. Hey, this I, is I the Goddess yeah. World show. <laughs> I say all types of wild shit here. So, yes, go ahead. Come all right, that's true. Everybody's shit ain't that good. That's just true. That Max. is true. 
But I, I'm not saying that nobody's that, that ever reached out to me. They shit not good. <laughs> I'm just saying, listen, it's the truth. Everybody's mm-hmm. shit ain't good. Mm-hmm. And not only that, even if your shit's good, you know, if you're talking about, I don't know, hoes and bitches and sluts, and then you want me to do a feature, like, I can't do that. <laughs> that doesn't, you know what I'm saying? I'm not. Gotta make no, sense. Yeah. Yeah. The shit gotta and you, make sense. you get that you know people will hit me up like you know can can i get a feature can i can you do a verse and that's the type of music like they be having it just be like you know not in my lane you know just not not the type of stuff i'm trying to come out you mm-hmm. know with nina ross like mm-hmm. um so you know and and people might take that as me being like a diva they might i get it but that's why i said people that. can take it the wrong way yeah. sometimes but they don't understand no. and <laughs> sometime um how, what i was uh how I it was explained to me. Sometimes you might have to holler at them and say it ain't. You know what I'm saying? Take that time yeah, out to say that. Them. You do. You know what I'm saying? Like nah, this you ain't this ain't the line. Ooh, then mm-hmm. people can you know what I'm saying deflate just a little bit. But yes. You know and what let saying? me say up to this point, this is my first release. Stars is my first release, and up to this point, with this being the first time me releasing a song, I have learned that you have to know how to have conversations like that with people. Mm. You got to know how to tell them no. I mean, you ain't got to just say no, but you have to know how to, how to, you know, articulate no, you know, in, in a business way and, in, you know, in a way it should be done. But you can't be afraid to tell people or you definitely don't leave people hanging. If they reach out and they ask you, you know, for something, reply, respond. Don't just leave them hanging. That's Hollywood. That's diva. Leave them on read. Yeah, don't do that. Yeah, just leave them on read. You know, at least say something. But even if that something is, you know, your shit's good. You know, I like what you're doing. It's just not what I'm what I'm trying to do right now. I understand. You know what I'm saying? So, and that, like I said, you have to know how to, you know, have those type of conversations. You have to know the business. You mm-hmm. got to know the business. So, um, and it's nothing wrong with with that. You know, I, I can't do it right now, but maybe later on, you know, or maybe you, you got something else. Can you send me something else? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Spe- it's different ways. Speaking of the business, though, just for me knowing you've, You've been doing this shit for how many years now? Man, for real, for real? For real, for real. Like 12, 11 to 12 years. My mother passed away in 2012. That's been about 10 years. So maybe like two years before she passed, two or three years. You learning the in, uh, some of the insides and uh, some of the ins and outs of the business. Is Is it really what they say that is? Cause I'm I'm still coming into it. I'm only like two, three years in, and I'm starting to see a lot of goofy shit. Yeah, you know what I mean. So is it really that? Yeah, cutthroat type of shit going on. It's definitely cutthroat. <laughs> it's it's cutthroat. Um, it's you know painful. Can mm-hmm. be painful because it's like it's like your baby, like your child. You yeah. you putting your blood, sweat, and tears. You putting hours you know out of the day into this shit you know you care about it It, you have to care about it Mm -hmm. and so you know when you care about something like that and then i don't know you come across a person who don't give a fuck about your shit Mm -hmm. and they don't give a fuck Mm -hmm. about making you feel like that they don't give a fuck and Mm -hmm. that is like and it's real you know so what you gonna stop or you gonna keep it moving you know and that's just understanding again the business because it is ruthless you know um i've been in a lot of I've met like a lot of people in and out of Chicago and I can say like if if I've met maybe I don't know three different cliques of people and I met them all for the first time somehow some some way along the line I realized that they all knew each other Mm -hmm. you know because well Mm -hmm. Chicago is small you know but everybody know each other in, in the shop but you know specifically in the industry everybody knows each other like you know, so I had, I've had, you know, my bad experiences, you know, I, um, I've been doing this for a long time. And like I said, this is my first time putting out a record, you know, and that's not what's up with that, you know? So the truth is, um, ownership, you got to own your shit. Yes. You yes. have to own your shit. And that's the business. <laughs> that's the business. That's the business. Now, um, <laughs> even with. Let me, let me tell you what I've been dealing with. Let me tell you just a little bit of what I've been dealing with. Mm-hmm. We knew each other for years, right? Mm-hmm. I've known a lot of people for so many years, right? Mm-hmm. You know my name, right? 20-year mm-hmm. people calling me Gotti. 
instead of Irving. Mm-mm, G. That's some funny shit, right? So this is what I'm saying. Like, and it gets shaky because I was in this space to where I was, I didn't know who was there, and I, it's, I'm kind of adjusting to it now, but I don't know who was there for the love and who was there for the access. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So it gets tricky. It gets very tricky. Especially when you say that, and I, I mean, you don't even look like a Gotti to me. You look like <laughs> an Irving. Okay, I don't even. <laughs> That, I don't know. That's just who you are, G. You just, you my G. So, I don't know. I, yeah, and you have to, you know, you, but you paid attention to that, though. You know, you kind of saw, like, but maybe that, that's it what felt funny. Think. Yeah. It felt funny. It, it felt very funny because it's just like, man, I ain't heard from you in years, but, and I get the people, you know what I'm saying, cheering me on and being like, damn, woo. Yeah. Like, this is this. I get that's that. That's what I was going to say. But it's like, man, we got to kick it, woo. I'm like, man, you ain't, you ain't, you ain't reached out to me when I was, you know what I'm saying? At the post office, you know what I'm saying? Just walking, delivering mail and shit like that. But nah, you know what I'm saying? I'm standing next to Big Will right here in the MVI Studios and shit like that. Nah, it's like, okay. bro. Or they see me hosting and I ain't in and out of town and shit like that. So it's like, whoa, what yeah, is that? I can definitely relate. And that's why I'm saying, like, some of them some of them things that happen around you or them people around you, how does that, how does that affect you? And have you lost a lot of people? along the way that's exactly what i was gonna say i have um i have i lost hmm i lost people that didn't belong i lost people that that were never meant to come this far Mm. you know with me um but in that you know during the time though of course you don't know that at the time and at the time you know this is music this is what i do so i put my all into it and i i guess i kind of just assumed that the that people who are helping me or like associated with me, they know how much I care about it. So they're also going to put their all in it too. Mm-hmm. Right. Wrong. Mm-hmm. Wrong. Mm-hmm. And, and that's kind of, that was kind of like the filter. So the people who are left now are the people who really care about getting my music out are the people who really want to see me win, not because of Nina Ross, but because of Tanina, cause they nice. know me for real. Yeah, yeah. So same, so same, but, but same, same thing. Yeah, yeah mm-hmm. same thing. So I'm I'm just um also too kind of like in relation to that is people I've met a lot of people in the industry who made promises, you know. <laughs> no fucking promises. Boy. Made promises. <laughs> um you know, and, and I guess, you know, it, it was never like, you know, on contract or nothing. I guess it kind of be like an, an implied, you know, promise, you know. But after having so many conversations with someone about the same thing and you guys even go so far as getting started, like putting in footwork and then it just stops. Like people just disappear. I don't know. Like, honestly, stop answering their phones. Um, you, you, you <laughs> shut up, Will. <laughs> shut up, Will. <laughs> you know, you, you reach out, or they just, you know, it's, you know, and I, and I understand, you know, shit happens. Life, life is happening. Time is still, the clock's still ticking. I get it. But like I said a couple minutes ago, you don't just leave people hanging. You don't do that. That's, that's like when I was, when I spoke about ethics and about things that you hold on to. That's like one of those things. Yeah. That's what I do. Like, even if we put Nina Ross to the side for a second, that is just me. You you respond to people. You reply to them. You let them know, even if it hurts, even if it's a hard response to give them. Mm-hmm. Even if it's like, you know, I don't like your shit. You find a nice way to say that, and you respond. That's just that's just human, and, and everybody don't do that, and everybody don't, you know, I guess wasn't raised like that or don't value that so everybody doesn't do that and so i have been just left hanging and so the result has been like music that i've cut with this person who you know and it's been multiple people so i'll cut music with them and then i don't hear from them anymore okay so it's just sitting and then if i do not own it i can't do shit so I put in the time, I cut the music, I put my heart and my soul into it, but it's not my record. So I can't do shit with it, but move on, move on. And so that when we're talking about the business, I learn for, first and foremost, Tanina, if you are going to do this, you have to write your shit. You have to write your shit. You have to own it 100%. So you can do whatever you want to do with it. Mm -hmm. Regardless of who walks away, who walks out, it's still your shit. If you want to take your lyrics and put it to somebody else's beat, you can do that. 
because you own it. And I just had to learn. But again, I had to go through shit, though. I had to have shit to lessons. write about, right? I had, I needed some content. Lessons. All <laughs> lessons, all lessons, all this shit is lessons. Because I did it. I, I know where you at. Mm. I know where you at. I know where you yeah. at. Even uh, coming, I felt like I put in a lot of work. I, I have put in a lot of work, but it was one conversation. Um, uh, I keep referring back to this guy over here. Uh, well, yeah. we had so many conversations, and he was like, "Man, sometimes they they might like you. You might be cool, but in certain ways, you're a threat. So you gonna uh, they, they ain't gonna let you in like you think they will let you in because that can sacrifice some shit for them. So what clicked mm-hmm. into my mind is. You got to make your own way. Mm-hmm. You got to make your own way. Got to create your own way and make it to the point and it got personal to me to where it's like, all right, bet. If y'all ain't going to let me in, yeah. I'm going to make my way. And in addition to that, I'm going to accept like the results. Like, you know how I think that the big thing is like people like, you know, I want to latch on to somebody else who already got it, who's mm-hmm. already there. And then that way it'll make it easier for me to get there, mm-hmm. you know? And so, and to be honest, I feel like through the years, that's what I've been doing. I've been trying to latch on to somebody who's already ready, been successful in the business, you know, so that I could become successful. But I just had to accept that if you first of all decide whether or not you're going to do this, if the answer is yes, you're going to do it, then accept what's going to come from it, mm-hmm. whether it's more or less of what you think, you know, even if it's less, still accept that you did it, though. You know what I'm saying? Pray about it. Get it out there. Do your best. Do your absolute best. And then accept what comes from that. Don't be all like, you know, oh, I, I could have had maybe more streams if Beyonce had posted it on her page. You know, like, no, Beyonce didn't post it. Only the three people in my circle posted it. And I only got 500 streams made ten dollars. But so what? I did it. And you did it your way. And I did it my way. No rules. And, you and I own it. it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. See, <laughs> I, I feel like you're preaching right now. I feel like you're preaching a little bit. So uh, why we even talking about the business and things like that, let's go ahead and get into this record, man. Go ahead and introduce. Go ahead and introduce stars. Stars. Yes. Come on, come let's on. introduce stars. Go so, ahead. World. World, everybody listening, this is my very first single. It is called Stars, written by me, produced by Gabriel Alexander. Shout out to Gabe. Shout out to Gabe. Shout out, shout out, shout out. Make sure y'all download this, stream it on every major platform. Wherever y'all listen to y'all music to, y'all can go and grab Stars. (laughs) Just type in Nina Ross, and you'll see me pop up. Let's do it. Let's do it. Nina Ross, y'all get in tune. Damn, son, where'd you find this? We catch a vibe in the moonlight. All you see is stars. And you fucking with me. I already know that it feels right. A feeling that we both hope and never. You got potential. I'll try not to miss you. I'm feeling you, and I know you feel me too. I like your aura. You don't give a fuck. You bless you, not lucky. My little. Give me that boost, boost. We catch a vibe in a minute. We gonna get loose. You feel it too? Ooh, make an excuse. Tell her don't wait up for you, wait up for you, yeah. I'm vibing, I'm on you, yeah. I'm on you, yeah. We catch a vibe in the moonlight. All you see is stars. Are you fucking with me? I already know that it feels right. A feeling that we both hope and Ooh, 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 ooh. 
Cuff your chick. I love it. Damn, love son. It. Where'd you find this? Yes, indeed. <laughs> Will. Yes, sir. I got to get a review. <laughs> Will. Now, you know I don't holler like this on a regular, right? You, <laughs> in, in my line? Yeah, Do, I had to turn your mic down quite a bit. Yeah. <laughs> a couple minutes ago. Come on, Will. Uh, talk to that's me. That's a hit. That's a banger. Talk to me. That's a banger. That's a, you know what? I do. You know, I'm, I'm an engineer, so I uh, I hear all the in intricacies of the song. Yes. And I could tell it was a lot went into it. Like yes. that ain't no pull up a beat. Let me just hop on it. That's that took a lot. Yes. Y'all did that song. <laughs> Y'all redid that song. Y'all went over it and over it and over it. And it probably took you a good couple months, if not more, to get it perfect. Mm-hmm. Yep. If, if you ask me. Yeah, well, yeah, I have to say it. <laughs> God damn it. First of all, that beat. Gabriel, the the, and I think you got the wrong version, but Gabriel, when he made that beat, he made it from scratch, and which was the first thing I experienced something like that. Normally, producers send you a beat, and then you just write to the mm -hmm. beat. But no, we sat down, and he just scrolled through and like played a whole bunch of sounds, like different sounds. And the sound that I picked was that is in the beginning of the stars. It's like, dun, 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 dun. And I was like, that's cold, Gabe. That's cold. He's like, you like that? I was like, yeah. So he like, all right. So he pulled that, and then he just started building around that. Oh, and, he and created. Yes. Lounge of he life. just all types of he had his keyboard. He just started just making the beat. And then I took it, went home, wrote to it. And then because it, it still didn't sound the way that the final record sounds now. It, it was maybe some things missing from the from this final edit. Mm -hmm. And then after we cut it, and then Gabe lived all the way out west. So I had to go far from Maryville, <laughs> Indiana, okay? I used so to stay driving. around like, yeah, yes, okay, yes. cool. So I'm driving like back and forth. That's another reason that, you know, it's taking a little bit longer because you got to get to the studio. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I'm cutting with Gabe. I, I brought him back the record. We cut the record. And then he, you know, put his little final touches, his little finishing touches on it. And then it was done. Mm. It was done. Mm. And I was like, oh my God, this is my shit. It's only me. You know, it's not, like I was saying earlier, like it's so, normally it's like four or five people writing on a record. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And the producer, you know, he get a cut and then maybe somebody else get a cut of publishing. And I'm like, fuck this. I'm <laughs> writing this shit myself. Nobody ain't getting shit. Except Gabe. I'm, I gave you Gabe. Because <laughs> I fuck with Well, you Gabe. know, if I blow up, if, <laughs> same thing, if I blow up, then I got to get him a whole yeah, bunch of money. You know what I mean? So course, that work. You know, <laughs> so... Um, yes, that stars, you guys. I hope you guys love it. Come I, on, because man. the video will be coming out soon. I give y'all I gotta give y'all a dope ass visual. It gotta make it on my countdown too. Yes. Oh yeah, hell yeah. Uh, I, I didn't know if you know I had a countdown, but I do. You got the countdown. countdown. It's the underground seven countdown. Every week? Every week. Okay. It drops every Wednesday. Uh, okay, you hell yeah. Video. Oh so uh, yeah, we Nothing need but that. Videos. I'm we bringing need a, that on the show. I'm bringing uh <laughs> hits from the street type of rap city type of one oh six type of vibe together. So yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. You gotta go check me. I gotta check. Yeah, I'm okay. I've told you I'm doing a little bit. Dude, you are. <laughs> um, Hell let's yeah. get back. Uh, let's get back to to the business though. Um, far as with having your paperwork together, you said mm -hmm. something uh, with the business and everything. Did um, oh how hard was that, or how was some of the avenues? If you could tell some of these artists to get some of their shit together. Yes. So. Another another thing that pushed me to, to put out, just like to start putting out music is because I saw so many people doing it. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, damn, all these people putting out music, I should be able to put out some music. But then, you know, I don't like half-ass doing shit. I like my shit to be thorough. Okay. So even though I had music cut and all of that, I'm like, no, you got to go all the way back to the beginning. You know, you got to make sure you have your social media handles all, you know, the same. You got to make sure, you know, you have a business account for Nina Ross. You got to make sure everything for Nina Ross is going to tie back to Nina Ross, Facts. not to nobody else. So I had to make sure, you know, I had publishing, I had to start a publishing company. So when I get my royalties from the shit that I write, it's going to go to my publishing company, which is my shit. Mm. So I, it was just things about it that, you know, I had to learn. And in turn, if I do a feature or a collab with someone else, 
you know, it's going to go through my publishing company, <laughs> you know? So even though I may not be a writer, I might not have written on the record or anything like that. It still has to go through my publishing company. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I'm going to get my cut. So it was just things about, you know, the different type of royalties that you get, you know, when you put out music um, and, and understanding what that means, understanding how people can use your record, understanding how it can be sold, how it can be leased, you know, and but again, none of this is even possible if you don't own it. So you can't even go into details about doing shit with it if you don't own it. <laughs> artists, to all the artists listening, Talk you have shit. to first own it. Okay, you shit. have to register the record. You know whether you want with BMI, ASCAP. Yeah. I'm with BMI. Mm -hmm. You know you have to register it, and then you have to register your lyrics. If you wrote the lyrics, you have to go and register those lyrics so that you get the all the royalties that you're supposed to get. Because BMI and ASCAP, I think they only do performance royalties. So what about your sync royalties? What about your mechanical royalties? What about all of that? You know, you you just got to make sure you read. Y'all got to read. Um, you know, it's not all about being in a studio and cutting music and recording it you have to read you know pull up articles and things that teach you about the jargon uh, you know in the industry you know there's certain vocab and things that you need to know you know you have to make sure all of that is in order first before you shoot a video <laughs> you got to make sure before you start promoting a record that all of that is in order and i just had to do that i've been sitting down all these years doing that a lot of uh, see a lot of these artists that's just in it just to be in it or think that shit is cool or just trying shit uh they feel like they could just come in the studio they get the record back here and then they just put it out they just put it on spotify it. youtube or whatever and make a quick video and that's, and it. that's it. It's supposed to blow up. And they can put it on somebody else's YouTube page and things like that. And they do all these numbers, but you don't get shit from it, but just being noticed. No, and that's it. And I guess maybe, yeah, that's just all they want. Maybe that's all they want from it. And I'm, it's a, a lot, lot of, of it money, they don't man. know. And talk to me it's about the money time, because. It's a lot of money. Come on now. What this shit like? Come on you, now. And especially not for a woman. We, you know, y'all can get a damn haircut or take a damn razor, or whatever y'all got. Mm. The clippers and just throw a little hat on. Okay, <laughs> yeah, put a hat on. You know, we we gotta get our hair done. We gotta look good. Yes. You know, you gotta be the full package. The people want to see a package. You know, and then but behind the the scenes of the package, you gotta have your mind together. You gotta have your heart together. It ain't just about how you look. You gotta have a heart. You have to have a brain. And if you don't have none of that shit, it ain't gonna work. Or you you're gonna be shorted. You might make it, but you're gonna be shorted. You know, you're gonna reach a ceiling. You're not gonna go as far as you could go if you had just took a little bit more time to learn, to read. You know, and and it was painful, like I said, through the through these years, going through what I was going through, watching everybody else put out music. You know, weak ass people too. I'ma say that. <laughs> it's been so. She weak in a bag now. Yep, she's in a bag. Here she come. Cool. It has no, been bring some it weak ass music, like just just weak, and that's just another. That's been another push for me, like. Like Tanina, Najee, you know your shit is cold, bitch. You know if you put some shit out, the people would love your shit. So I just was like, you know, let me just really do this, but let me make sure I do it right. And I would never have done it unless I was doing it right. I don't like it unless it unless it's thorough. Mm -hmm. So best believe, you know, stars and with the future releases, releases, because I got some more shit for y'all coming. Okay. But best believe that. Prior to stars, everything that needed to be done has been done. And everything is going to route back to me because this is my shit. Mm. How much how how much would it um how how much is a feature or a song? How much would that cost somebody if they wanted to get Nina Ross on uh on a song? How much would that run them? So normally, and it's a conversation. So one of the main things I want to know is what you're going to do with this record. Mm -hmm. Because if there are royalties involved, okay, if you're going to put this record out somewhere and you going to be getting a cut for the rest of your life, I want a cut I for the rest that. of my life. Yeah. I need that. So don't think I'm going to just charge you a 500 and then that's it. <laughs> no, I want a percentage. I want my royalties too. So first we got to have that conversation. Yes. You know, what are you doing with the record? Okay, and then do you want me to write, you know, my part? Is it written already? Am I doing verses? Am I doing a hook? You know, but you just want me to do a speaking part? Am I doing a bridge? Like, it's it's a conversation. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't know um, if any artist could just have a, a price. Maybe artists that's out already, yeah, they just like 100000 You want to feature just a flat 1000 yeah, But, yeah, I, um... 
we got to talk about it first. I got to see what's going on, what you're going to do with the record. That's really the main thing. I want to know where this where this record is going to be. That's really all that matters. Because especially now, since Nina Ross, like I'm building Nina Ross, you know, as a brand, mm-hmm. I got to know what, you know, what, what my name going to be on and what, you know, what where it's going. So, Protect your brand at yeah. all the time. So that kind of determines the, the price, I guess, yes. per se. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Um... Personal question: mm-hmm. Do you think that you think that you right where you' supposed to be, or you think you should be further? I think I'm right where I'm supposed to be. Okay. Um. Uh, it hasn't felt like that in the past, but the way that things are just rolling right now, like my life is so fantastic. I'm just outside of Nina Ross. I just have a great life. Like I'm just so blessed. You know, I have family and I have friends that really love me, really care about me. And I know that because they've been there for me, you know, at up to this point, the lowest part, the lowest point of my life. Um, and the way that my life is, it has I've created it this way. It, my life is deliberately the way that it is because I made it that way. And I, I, it just feels right. It feels like this is where I'm supposed to be. I don't have... Um, like strain or or like a like worry and anxiety and like like I had before I really started taking this seriously I did have that and I realize now I was realizing it then it was just like you know you know I guess sometimes you feel like you stuck somewhere for whatever reason mm-hmm. people got reasons you know they can come mm-hmm. up with for, for you know being stuck in a place and I had my reasons and then once I started getting rid of that and started just realizing you know, this is my life. I can do whatever I want to do. This is my life. You know, then I started saying like, okay, you know, um, you don't like your job? Quit. Quit. Why are you still there? You don't like being there. If it makes you miserable, quit. Mm-hmm. What if you die tomorrow? Hmm. Then you then your whole life was you was just working somewhere. You hated it. You I didn't accomplish what was in your really in your heart. You know what I'm saying? That's how I try. started. Look, yeah. You didn't. Try. You just working and shit. So yeah. I started looking at it like that. Like you know, um, that's another thing too. People started dying. People started dying, and um, it was you know, that's always painful. Death is painful. Mm-hmm. Death does something to you. Um, and it definitely did something to me. I felt, I just felt like I got to get it. My divorce to me was a death. Mm. Uh, it was a death. It felt like, you know, a death. I mourned afterwards. I, I, you know, I, I longed for the person that I thought I married. Mm -hmm. Okay. And which is like, you know, a death, like you long for the person to still be here. You wish that person was still here, you know? So that, and then my mom, you know, um, that beautiful my man. BFF Desi, he passed away. And what was that? 2000, was that 2019? And he was one of my really big, big cheerleaders. And that was another reason that I was just like, you got to put this music out mm-hmm. because you might be next. And I, I say this, I, I feel like a broken record because I have said this a lot lately, but when I die, I just want to be empty, G. Like, I don't want, like, uh, everything that I imagine in my brain. Like, I, I just want to be old as hell. Like, damn. I did Did that. I do? Yeah. Like, did, did we cross that, that off? Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, damn. You know, I did everything I wanted to do. And that's how I look at life. It's not like yes. a set of rules or you don't have to go to work every day. You don't have to do that. But the only person who can change that or make that real is you, man. That is it. And and I just started just living like that. Like, this is an open life. Is like... You can literally do whatever the fuck you want to do, G. That's you can right. explore. Like, on, like man. the world is just I'm living there's it. so many things to I'm do here. Living, I'm living <laughs> it. And it's so much work to uh it, it is so much work to put in, but the gain that you get yes. out of it. It's rewarding. It's cra- yes. It, it is. It's like it is. And when it comes, it's like a oh yeah. shit. Yep. Did that really happen to me? Yep. I'm telling you, yep. I'm telling you, you wouldn't believe some of the phone calls work. that I didn't have. Yeah. That I thought I was like, man, how do I get there? And now it's here. I'm like, oh shit. Okay. Yes. Cool. Cool. All right, cool. Now, but I gotta conduct myself as a as yep. this business, this yep. brand. So you gotta treat me accordingly now. You can't just pick me up and no, no, no. This is yep. business, brother. 
Yep. Send that contract That's over. That's that diva shit you saw you know? earlier, right? <laughs> I get into my bag just a little. Yeah, I get, it, I get into my shit. <laughs> I get into my shit just a little bit. Uh, real quick, because uh, then we got a game, and then um, we got to get up out of here. Okay. Um, singing. Mm-hmm. Well, you sing and sing. I so, um, would you say it's a passion or a purpose? If they can coexist, I'd say they are both, that it's both. It is definitely my purpose. I, I feel like nothing else works unless I'm doing this. Like in my life, mm. I'm not happy unless I'm doing this. I'm not, life isn't flowing the way that life should flow unless I'm doing this. That's the, that, that's the purpose side of it. The passion, you know, I, I'm just, I could be in a shitty ass fucked up mood and all I got to do is sing. Just sing. And that just makes me feel better. I just like, I like the way, I don't know, notes feel coming, you know, at like when they sound, I don't know, like just how it feels to, mm-hmm. to create a note to sing. Mm-hmm. And um, and that's not, um, nothing else can do that for me. Um, besides my son, probably. Just put me in a good mood, you know what I'm saying? When I'm not, when I'm feeling down or something, I could just sing. And that's, um, that's how I know it's a passion for me. And which I'm not, so don't get no ideas. But I would do it for free. That's how you know it's a passion. I feel you. I feel you. I, <laughs> I would feel do you. it for free. I feel you. If there, if I, if I was offered nothing in return for singing, I would still sing. I would. I, I need a picture. <laughs> <laughs> Cut it. <laughs> Cut it out. Um, if if it does, if this. Because we, we we think about the upside, but also we think about the downside as well. Mm-hmm. If it was not to pan out mm-hmm. later on mm-hmm. to where the success you want didn't come, mm-hmm. do you have a backup plan? <laughs> mm. Cause I I don't. I'm going balls to the wall with this. So it's like if I put so... The way that I'm doing it right now, like, you know, all on like social media and like promoting like releases and stuff like that. If that doesn't work out, do I see myself quitting like singing? No, I'm still going to sing. But can I see myself like one day? not putting out a record or like not releasing records. Yeah, I can see that. And not not even just because if I if I don't reach like success that I see myself reaching, but just because I just want to do so many other things. I just want to do so many other things. You know, I just see myself kind of slowing down and, you know, accomplishing some other things. But I'll never stop singing. I'll never stop singing. Um another another part I was gonna say is um we we spoke earlier about like um, reaching success, you know, like kind of getting discouraged. And I told myself this too, this this is important. I told myself before I put out stars and like decided to, to put the music out, I said to Nina, you have to, I did kind of say this earlier. If you, if you only make $10 off of this, you gotta be okay with that. You gotta, you gotta be okay. You have to still be happy just like you are right now. Mm-hmm. You can't, and, and keep it moving. You know what I'm saying? You don't you don't have to stop, whatever. But if I I, I just said if I make ten dollars, I don't if one hundred people stream this song, is that gonna make you stop? The answer is no. No, I'm not gonna stop. And but I've already envisioned that though. I've already like, you know, kind of simulated myself only getting one hundred streams. I've simulated myself like going on, looking at the analytics, like, damn, only a hundred people stream my shit. And I like put myself in those shoes. Like, okay, how does that feel? Mm-hmm. You know? And and I still did it. I'm still gonna do it. Yep, I'm still gonna it. do it. I love it. <laughs> now that's passion. That's passion like a motherfucker, ain't it? <laughs> Will, that's passion like a motherfucker, ain't it? I feel you. I, I, I'm on the same thing. If I don't get nothing but a uh, uh, hundred views or whatever, mm-hmm. 200 views, then it ain't gonna stop this next episode that's coming out. Cause I'm still doing it. I'm still doing it. The way I wanna do it, I'm gonna put it out the way I wanna put it out. And regardless of the fact, you're gonna have to see me anyway, because I'm coming yes. 10 different ways. Cause that's just how it is. But um, have you started walking in this? Like really walking, to, uh, walking into 
who you are after the hmm. divorce, after uh, having the baby, after the ups, the downs? Have you really took, got into your mind and actually said, nah, this is me now. This is who I am. This is what I do. Yeah. So I'm going to walk in it and everybody else is going to have to adjust. Have you did that? I have. Um, we're, we're put here to serve. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's, that's why we're here. We are here to serve mm -hmm. each other. We're here to, we're here to serve each other. Mm -hmm. And so each of us has to realize what our purpose is, like what our passion is so that we can use it to serve each other. Okay. And I, realized that mine is singing and that is what I am supposed to be using to serve my brothers and my sisters, i.e. the other people on this planet. Okay. Amen. Um, I'm there, I'm here. This is, this is what I'm, this is what I'm supposed to be doing in some, in some capacity. I, I've, I've just kind of realized how I affect people, you know, people, um, People like bright energy and positive, positive, you know, it's energy positive. and positive vibes. They like that. Gotta be, you know, had at it. If yes. You, if you're going to be around me, you got to have that. <laughs> you you got to be it. like that. Yes. And, and even if you ain't feeling it, act like you feeling it, you know, pretend like you're in a good mood. And really, first of all, not only will that bring, you know, good vibes back to you, but um, I just kind of realized that people, people can see that they can see when you're just positive they can see your heart just by looking at you and, and and listening to you they can see your heart and um i just have realized the effect that i've had on people and i i understand that that is god-given everybody does not have that and um it would be a waste of my life for me not to to use it it really would it really would it would be a waste and i like i said earlier how like i'm always like trying to be in the background trying to like be cool and blend in with everybody i can't do that <laughs> not your, that's 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 not your light that wasn't that no. wasn't that wasn't god's vision for you it was not that yeah he gave you that don't big, let me do that he gave you that big talent that that uh that that overwhelming talent mm -hmm. for a reason yep use the shit, please. yes please i'm here i'm using it. all right all right well check this out this song, this sound right here. Because mm -hmm. I got a game. Oh, shit. All right. So the game is called the 10-name game. So basically uh, what it is, I uh, fire 10 things or 10 names, and you got to give me your answer in a one-word answer. They're all random. They're all random. So say if I say, say if I say music, the first thing that come to your mind, one-word answer. Mike. That's it. That's, wow. how, the, that's how the game go. Okay. That's how the game go. You can take your time. You ain't got to be right. fast with it, but take your time. All but right. you got to think about it. Make it count. Oh, All right? my time. It's just the first. No, okay. It's just the first thing that okay. comes to your mind. It's Ten things. You ready for? Them? Okay, I'm ready. Here it go. Here it go. Mm. Marriage. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> the first thing. How would you describe that in one word? Oh fuck, Irvin. Okay. I, I, I do this. Marriage. Life. That was that was the first thing that came to mind. Life. Life. Okay. Your baby. Happy. Mm. Your life. Peace. Your beautiful mother. Warm. That's just the first thing that came. Warm. <laughs> God. Creation. Stars. Night. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'm doing this too good. Maybe I should use the second thought. <laughs> The first thing, whatever pop. That's okay. what I say, whatever pop. All right, all right, we got well, we got four more to go. Four more to go. You ready? Okay. They're ready. gonna be they're gonna be real. Okay. They're gonna be real. All right. Okay. Black Lives Matter. Power. Black women. Beauty. Hmm, these last two gonna be big. These last two gonna be big. You ready for them? I'm ready. Here you go. Here you go. Here you go. Here you go. Shit. 
Sharla. Support. Last one. Last one. Not Nina Ross, but Tanina Porter Clark. Oh, God. <sighs> not this, not, not who I see now, but the overall person. The government, when you lead this motherfucker, to Nina Porter Clark. In one word, how could you describe that person? Strong. I get that. Clap it up, clap it up, clap it up, clap it up, clap it up. <laughs> All right. So, we give you a grade. After this, all right. Okay. This is just the way it goes. It goes okay. So, Will, brother, Will, with uh, with what you heard, what do you give her, bro? She got them all right. She hit them all. I mean, the only one she paused on was marriage, but <laughs> <laughs> did you feel that in your spirit? Just a little bit. You felt it in your so spirit. What? No, I'm just asking. Oh. The, the marriage, the marriage. Uh, oh, no. It is what it is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I uh I give her a. Give a? No, she she hit them all. She That's hit them all. She hit them all. I give it a. I I take that. I take that. I take that. I will never give out a's. Oh shit. <laughs> well, give thank you. No, he might give you a B plus plus, oh, damn. but you don't give out no a's though. You don't give out no a's. <laughs> and of course, with me knowing you, with me uh seeing you again, with the actual hearing some of the things and hearing the when you said it your voice you know I get you A plus for that cause I know it was very real I don't know everything but I know some but the ones that I do know you hit them right on point okay, you hit them right on point so I get I get you I get, I get, I get. thank you alright All right. um I can't let you out of here without um give me a little something. With a little with a little uh with a, can, can I get something? Of course. That's what I'm of talking course. about. That's all I want to hear. Ladies and gentlemen. Come on now. I'ma do a little stars for you. Okay. We catch a vibe in the moonlight. All you see is stars when you fucking with me. I already know that it feels right. A feeling that we both hope and never. You got potential. I'll try not to miss you. I'm feeling you and I know you feel me too. I like your aura. You don't give a fuck. You blessed you not lucky. My little buddy. We catch a vibe in a minute. We finna get loose. You feel it too. Ooh, make an excuse. Tell her don't wait up for you. Wait up for you. Yeah. High vibing, I'm on you, yeah. I'm on you, yeah. yeah. <laughs> God. Hey. You gotta give all the sound effects for that, eh? Huh? <laughs> oh, man. Yes, sir. Wow. <laughs> Tell everybody how they can get in contact with you and um, how to download everything and stream, get your streams of up, course. everything. Go ahead. You guys can find me on Instagram at the official Nina's World, N E N A, not N I N A, the official Nina's World. Uh, you can find me on Facebook, Nina Ross. Okay. And then, of course, you guys can just type Nina Ross in on Apple Music, Amazon Music, Spotify. Type in Nina Ross Stars, and you'll see me pop right on up. That's how it is. That's right. what it is. And, um, of course, y'all already know where to find me, man. Official underscore Y-U-N-G Gotti on Instagram, on Facebook, Irvin Woods Jr. And where you can find all this content. G World Media on my YouTube, man. Y'all can find that. I uh, got a lot of things coming up, a lot of shows coming up, a lot of live hostings that I'm going to do. So I want everybody to pop out. It's going to be real big, going to be real official. Um, man, this here, this this episode did it. This episode, and it's on Valentine's Day, so it's it love is. in the air. Good Lord, have mercy. I appreciate this. On the right time, you did it. You did it. You did it. You did it. <laughs> 
<laughs> you knew what you was doing when you did this shit, didn't you? I didn't even think about it. I didn't put the play together until after work. Oh, man. Uh, how I end this show, um, two things that I got to uh, ask you. Um, I need 10 followers from you. I don't need 20. I don't need 30. I just need 10 Instagram followers from you. Your fans. That's it. I just need 10. Oh, wait. What, what you want them to follow you? Yeah. What, so what you want me to do? Nothing. Just tell them. This oh, is hell yeah, you just tell them to follow me. That's it. That's all I need. Done. Okay, cool. Uh, okay. Okay, cool. Of course. And the second thing is, I just need you to be safe out here. Yes. I need you to take care of yourself. Keep your head on the swivel because uh, these niggas is crazy yes. out here. And there's a lot of haters. Yeah. So I just okay. need you to be safe. All right. All right. Got it. Got it. What you want to say? You want to say specifically? <laughs> what you want to say? <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, uh, thank crazy. you. Niggas is crazy. Niggas is crazy. Niggas is crazy. Thank you, God, for uh, another episode. Thank you, God, for this beautiful talent in front of me. Thank you, God, for my brother Will. I appreciate you, man. Without the show, I mean, without him, the show wouldn't be shit. Mm-hmm. So it is what it is. Avion <laughs> Studios, I appreciate y'all. Uh, this is what the Goddess World was built on and built in. Avion mm-hmm. Studios. So hey, I appreciate y'all. And hey, Nina Ross, man, this was one. This was one for y'all. I did it. <laughs> Fellas, don't say I didn't give y'all nothing on Valentine's Day. All right? This is the Gotti's World Show. We out of here. Yeah! Gotti, 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 Hard Body, Gotti's World. We some mob bosses. Tune in. Don't just come across. We do it all. Y'all just for the talk. Might lose your mind when you hear these topics. No cap. Think about it. Who you know going this hard? All real. All way. Think about it. Best interview, so is this? We don't do oldest that entrepreneurship. Come and link, join a viewership. Education, relationships, businesses, view the clips. This is the Midwest takeover. Going over time to invent on focus. Bring a guest in from all over. Whole lot of game, we don't need a closer. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Hard body, got his world. We some mob bosses. Turn them else to lessons. We don't do the losses. Dedication daily, ain't no other options. Booking up these lots on every show we plotting. Pull up a chair, make sure you watch it. Subscribe, get them notifications popping. Pull up all the champagne, we gon' get it. Pop.